Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Polish campaign. This time as fascists, we're going to uh, we're gonna we're we're gonna declare war. We're conquering him. I don't care about world tension. Attack him. Do it. Belangist Poland declared war on Hungary, and now Green is like, "Hey man, I got this." Are you gonna are you gonna attack me? I I probably should have gotten a little bit more. A little bit more of an entrenchment bonus. I don't think this is going to go well for you, dude. I'm pretty sure you're going to lose all these fights. Toad anti-tank. He's now done. Seventy six divisions. Bad terrain. I mean, it's more than it. He says he's strong. Just do it. Just go with the AI. Whatever. Hungary just joined the Axis. Okay, I didn't predict that. Um, does this mean that Germany is going to declare war on me in like three seconds? What if I join the Axis? Am I already at war with you? You really dislike me, but no. Aha! Sorry. Too late. <laughs> Boy, does that feel lucky. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, we conquered one more country. You're still guaranteed by France, huh? We picked up some stuff. Seized some equipment. We're missing productions for fighters. We have free military factories, believe it or not. Crazy, huh? Eight of them. Wow. Nice. What do we want to do with these military factories? We want to produce some more tanks, I think. I'd like to get more of our units with that tank. So, let's quadruple that. Well, let's just add, let's double it. That way I don't have to import any oil. Um, then we have a little bit of steel so we can make some more infantry weapons. How are we doing on infantry weapons? We got 22,000 infantry weapons. We, we need more towed artillery. And we need anti-tanks. Toad anti-tank. Just gonna require tungsten. So we're gonna have to... You should be able to click right here, and then just import tungsten that way. Okay, um... Support anti-tank. Piercing value goes up by a lot. Could be really useful to have this. Um, gonna bring organization down. But... Organization's already really high with these pure infantry stacks. I feel like these guys should have artillery too.
But that brings the combat width up to 22 because of this guy. So we have to get rid of you. So it ends up being 20. Defense comes down. HP comes down. Organization comes down. Suppression comes down. Weight goes down. But everything else that's important goes up. Yeah, I think so. That's going to certainly increase our need for more towed artillery. And we got to use these this just raw infantry equipment. How are we doing on suppression, by the way? Everyone loves us. No problems whatsoever. We can train at most 467,000 men, capped by max manpower in field 75%. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're trying to train them. We used up all the infantry equipment. Might not be a bad idea to get our manpower back up by taking that, uh, that focus at the, the other side. Okay, research is done. I totally missed what it just said. Uh, we want encryption and decryption, definitely. You're definitely not strong enough to beat him. You're not aligned, let's justify. You're also, I mean... The higher world tension gets, the faster we can justify. And now they're guaranteed. So that's pretty much everyone that we border. So if we want to fight... Then we would have to attack the allies so far the only person that's actually in the axis is germany and he is projected to have somewhere between 50 and 200 regiments where we know that we have 66 so we're obviously too weak to take him on we have no more avenues of expansion unless we want to attack russia no one cares about Russia. Infantry equipment 2 is complete. That's awesome. Before we forget, let's change over production. have room for purple to gain one more guy. We should rename this template. It's not named properly. It's actually inf6 plus 2 art. H6 
It's slow, but it's got armor. They hide behind the tank. That's what they do. Also, we researched motorized. It gave us a template with no support stuff. Motorized is useful for speed. Like, uh, you know, you just make a motorized division and then you just have speed. We could use that for encirclements. We could use that for quite a bit. They're pretty good on breakthrough, too. And it's mostly infantry equipment. It's it's some cars, but mostly infantry. And they actually have a little bit of hardness to them. Do we want to... ...produce some of that? Uh, we still having issues. We'd have a lot of issues with rubber, and we'd have to give up a lot more of our civilian factories. We're trading heavily with the Soviets. But we have free military factories. Let's go ahead and build some. If it's 1-1-1, one, 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 then I'd rather have 8. That way we can trade away one civilian factory for each of its components. 8 may be overkill, I don't really know. Oil, rubber, and steel. This is a bad deal, but it's like our only way to get... What is this? Rubber? Oh, it's just because I have it set to neighbor. We should do a different trade. Um, cancel. We'll trade with... Uh, sure, with France. Not even using any convoys, apparently, to do these trades. I want to attack somebody. But it can't be Germany. I don't think Germany can attack. I don't know. Which way do we go from here? I don't want to fight the Allies. Do we attack Russia? According to this, he's got way more men than... Germany does. But I know that Russia has some issues. You know, like, they, ha they have problems. Italy has joined the Axis now. So now if we were to fight Germany, it would include... Yeah, we gotta we gotta we gotta consider that it would, it would probably include pretty much every every country. I think we wait for Germany to somehow do a war that they shouldn't, and then we just attack them. And I think manpower is going to be an issue for us. So with these points, what do we want to do? I mean, I feel like we've militarized a bit. We've got 18 more regiments here. 
Um, I don't know why they didn't auto-deploy to this, this guy. I could have sworn I had them set up to do that. It's gonna be overkill. Like, lots of units are gonna get deployed and suddenly he's gonna be huge. Max planning plus 10%, 90%. Wow. That's crazy. Zog submits to Italy. I will not join your faction. Just because I'm fascist doesn't mean I support you. Okay? In fact, I hate you. How's that, uh... Motorized production coming in. Light on steel yet again. Producing five motorized per day. We could try, try building airplanes. Since we have that ace pilot, he is a fighter pilot. We could build some fighters, but that would require us to most likely tech up because the tech is bad. We're using 1933. It's 1939 right now, so we'd be really wanting to get probably all the way up to the Kania, if possible. But by now, we've got to have plenty of these light tanks. We've got room for three more upgrades, and purple was the one we were doing them in, so you... and you... And again, more military factories are free. My goodness. Just chunking them out like crazy now. Switching over that uh, war economy was... I can't believe I waited so long on that. That was such a big mistake. We've also been making tons of toad anti-tank, and we're not using them in any of our designs. So we've got... a thousand toad anti-tank right now. We've got to use that. Um... I think we add support anti-tank to the templates. This will use up most of our anti-tank. It doesn't cost us any combat width. It's useful. Um, it's going to cost me quite a bit of experience because I've got to add it to a bunch of different templates. So that was that one. The 9 inf. We have 20 divisions that are using just regular 9 inf. Um, I think it's time to get rid of the 9 in, like, like, we're not using that. They should have artillery. So let's find those divisions. In fact, let's do this. We're going to change the symbol to something weird. And then we're going to go to our armies, sort by type. Those guys are going to change over to this. Crap. And then you two. Now we will go here 
We will get rid of the 9 inf. And we will default back to just regular infantry. Because that's what this really is. 7 inf, 2 artillery. This is my default. This is, that's what they are. And now they've got support anti-tank as well. We've got room for one more. I'm thinking field hospital is what we're going to throw in there at some point. Um, beyond that, we're up to 53 divisions led by the level 3 max planner. How you guys doing? Level 4? You learning any skills? Engineer and Ranger. Level 4. Trickster, Engineer, Ranger, Urban Assault Specialist, Mountaineer. Ugh, I want to attack something. What's it going to take to make fighters? Don't have the equipment for it. Upgrade need 70,000. Can't really hurt to keep on making new. I mean, we'll have lots of old equipment. But we want the new equipment, so... I guess we make more of that. Computing technology. Encryption methods and decryption methods. Improved computing machine. Okay. There is more construction speed down here, so we're going to go ahead and knock that one out. Eventually, I want to be able to get that construction speed up. All right, for now, I'm going to take a break here. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know who to attack. Everyone around me is guaranteed. I don't want to fight the Allies. I don't want to attack Russia. I don't really want to just attack Italy and Germany on my own right now. Three civilian factories. Uh, we will use those to make military factories. We have... Available for construction. Could build forts. You know what we do need? Anti-air. Apparently there's anti-air there. Interesting. Infrastructure. Reduces division speed. Upgrade air bases. I think, I think we start with some radar. Or we can make synthetic. This, this might be a great way to go if we want to start making airplanes. But, um... Am I going blind? Requires technology radio detection. Do I seriously not have radio? Did I, like... <laughs> totally didn't even do that? Wow. Okay, well, let's wait three days. We can encrypt and decrypt stuff, but we don't have radios. Alright. Let's build more military factories. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I will see you soon.